Watch how I do my full mid-year assessments. We use color coding, so I'll add the date in blue at the top of the page. Next, I'm only going to assess the items that the student did not know at the beginning of the year. Let's start with colors. Do you know this color? Yes, that's brown. What about this one? Gray, yes. Great job, you know all of your colors. I tell students to shake their head no or just say no really quickly if they don't know the answer. What shape is this? What about this one, do you know this shape? Preschool assessments are not tests. They are used to inform my teaching so I can know how to create small groups, what lessons I need to make, and how I can help each individual student. For these assessments, you will be able to gauge what the students know. Um, for instance, if they are counting one, two, three, four, and they happen to hit a three when it's a three, but they were just counting, you might understand that they don't actually know that number. When I have the students doing rote counting, I'll ask them to count as high as they can. And when they get to the number where they stop, I'll write that number down. And then I also write in parentheses the two numbers they put together. For instance, 14, 16. This way parents know the number that they skipped when they stopped. For the one-to-one -one counting section, I have students counting with blocks. I also just added a one-to-one -one counting section in my assessment, so if you don't want to use blocks, you can use that. I only go up to 10, so the student knew 10 at the beginning of the year, so I just went ahead and uh, wrote the same number. Next, for letters, I'm going to point out the letters that the student did not know at the beginning of the year. If they don't know any letters, and you can tell that they don't know any, I will swipe my hand over the page and say, do you see any letters that you know at all? If they say no, I will still point to the letters that I think they should know, like the first letter in their name or the letter X. A lot of times students know X. If they don't know any of those, then I'll just move on. Because we all know we want to be teaching, not assessing. So this is meant to be helpful, not harmful. For the winter assessment, I assess letter sounds for all of my students. If I can tell that my student is going to know quite a bit of the capital letters, I'll do capital letters and sounds together. So they'll tell me the letter C and then I'll say C says and they give me the sound. This makes the assessment go much quicker and my students really do relate them because this is how we learn the letters. As we review, we sing a song. C says k, C says k. Every letter makes a sound. C says k. So I actually had many students that knew more sounds than they did letters this time around. Then when we get to the lowercase letters, I let students know that I don't need to know the letter sound. I just want to know if you know what the letter is. If you don't know, that's completely okay. Just shake your head no and we'll keep going. Sometimes I'll have that student that just likes to shake their head no because they don't want to do it, so I will then slow down and make sure that they're giving me the correct answers. Next, we're moving on to name writing and social-emotional skills. Name writing is something that we really focus on in preschool, so we often see really big results from the beginning of the year to the middle of the year. I pulled this name example out because I was particularly proud of this student. She doesn't have her letters in order, but she does have all of the letters in her name. To help guide students where they go, I use a folded piece of paper and cover over the top, and then I'll point to the blue spot and show them where they need to write their name. I have my students practicing capital followed by lowercase just because I found that if you have them write in all capitals, it's a really hard habit to break. So their capital letter goes in the gray box and all of their other letters go on the lines. I will circle no because the student has not mastered her name yet, but I'll write um, all of the letters that she wrote down and it shows that she is very close. We do have some letter reversals, but that's pretty typical in preschool. We use name tags in our classroom, so I do know if my students can recognize their name, so I can circle that really quickly. And lastly, I'll ask my student if they can spell their name. As they're writing their name, I will be checking their pencil grip and writing that down as well. At this point, my student is done, and I will let them go and continue to play. And I will finish the assessment by considering and thinking about their social skills um, from the beginning of the year until now. This is when I see the most growth in social emotional skills. A lot of times this is the first experience outside of the house where students are really learning these skills and being able to practice them with their peers. So the first three to four months in our preschool setting, we see a considerable amount of growth. The first week of school, I always come home crying. This week of school, I'm coming home cheering because they are doing so fantastic. Being kind, cleaning up, following the rules, listening and learning, it is wonderful. Now that I'm done with this complete assessment, I'll take the results and I'll put it onto my class checklist. At the beginning of the year, I used the same checklist and wrote all of the results in green. Then I chose two to three areas for each student's personal goals, and I highlighted that in yellow. Now I will take all of these winter results and put them on the same checklist in blue. Now I can very quickly scan the entire page and see if my students met their goals.